Hey guys, so we do a little update on what's going on with the Dodge. So as you can see, I tinted the taillights. I used uh, VHT nightshades that spray stuff. I actually had to take it apart and redo it because my weatherman lied to me <laughs> and told me it wasn't going to rain, and then it rained. So I had to take it all back apart, and uh, it's pretty easy to take this stuff apart. So, uh, basically, um, to take your taillights apart on one of these chargers, um, this middle light comes out pretty easily. You've got to undo these. Um, there are one on each side. You have to undo these. These will come out by hand, should. These here, I think, were a T20 uh, Torx bit this for this handle. And then there's one of these little black clips underneath that. And then this comes right off. And then the tail panel here, you unplug the... Um, there's one plug, you unplug it, and there's eight bolts holds it in. And it comes right out. And then the third brake light uh, is two 10 millimeter bolts comes right out and then this button actually pops out too it's just screwed in there so comes apart all pretty relatively easily and as far as your corner lamps um, you gotta take up this piece it just snaps in gotta be careful though because it snaps in this way on the underside so you just kind of lift up and out pull these out with your hand they don't screw in they pull it's a little screw here and you gotta take these hooks off and I think that's a T15 and then you can fold the carpeting back and then there are three um, 10 millimeter no 8 millimeter bolts that hold these on and these are also 8 millimeter in the, in the, in the uh, racetrack part so it's pretty easy Pretty simple. So yeah, I tinted the tail light, did the uh, third brake light there. I took some acetone in a rag and went around these. I know a lot of guys debadge these. I like the badge, so I'm keeping it. So I just shined it back up, took a little acetone that got the stuff off of it. And I took that blue line sticker that was here off and uh, I'm going to be putting a different uh, badge here. Uh, I found a badge that says Pursuit it's for the Pontiac Pursuit, which is a G5 here in the States. And uh, in Canada, they were sold as Pontiac Pursuits. And the lettering looks identical to this. So I am going to put Pursuit over here. And in place of that blue line sticker I had, I've got these now. Got these decals off eBay. I want to say they were um, ten bucks. I think I paid ten dollars for them. So these are the new Blue Line stickers. I need to like work the bubbles out again. It keeps bubbling up. I didn't quite get it down good enough, I guess. Also. That tire that I was talking about in a past video that kept going low. I took that off and found a nail in it. So I ran that up to the local tire shop and uh, had them. So it's got a plug in it now. But it's not going flat anymore. So I guess that's good. car needs a wash. There's just dirt and crap all around, all around here. And it constantly needs cleaning. And I detailed up the little Dodge emblem on the center cap. It's red now with a little bit of a red paint marker, but you know, probably ain't gonna stay. But yeah, so that's what we done with the charger. And I've uh, been looking at catch cans. I think that's gonna be the next mod. Should have been my first mod. Should have did the catch can right away, but found a company called I think it's JLT, 
they make a catch can specifically for the V6 uh, Pentastar engine and it is all the hoses and everything are all fitted right to the catch can and just plugs right in and it's 150 bucks so I'm just gonna go that route I just when I got the funds up I will order it and I'm thinking about doing some other mods but <clears throat> You know, one thing at a time. That's why I'm called Broke Michigander. I got a family to take care of first. When the family is taken care of and there's anything left, that's when I get to have fun. So, that's the way we do it. And uh, on a sad note, I don't know whose car this is, but this poor Monte Carlo has been sitting here for months with a flat tire and no license plate on it. And it seems like it's been abandoned here. It's our crusty old girl. It's got stickers all over it. <laughs> Duct tape on the steering wheel. This this poor car is sad. This is the kind of car I like to get and kind of just put out of its misery. It's got a pretty cool uh, Punisher uh, seat cover on the driver's seat though. It's kind of cool. I want to get some of those for my car. I, I found the whole set for like 130 bucks on eBay. Back seat and both front seats. Yeah. Sad, sad little car. I never was a really huge fan of these Monte Carlos, at least this particular style of them. But, uh, you know, still sad looking. All rusted out and forgotten. But, anyways, uh, I guess we'll call that the video. For today also these brakes are awesome by the way I've been running these brakes for I don't know a little over a week now they make absolutely no noise and they grab like it's like somebody put a big rubber band on the front of the car it just grabs it grabs it then those are those uh, power stop evos and the uh, there's a Ray Bestos performance uh, coated rotors because unfortunately it looks like I'm going to be driving this old girl this winter so I'm going to be trying to keep the underbody as clean as possible and I wanted the coated rotors for um, just to try to keep them from rusting as fast. They're still going to rust but they won't rust as fast so well heck you sure like, your, like these. I mean look at this this car has been sitting forever look at it Flash Rust City. Meet the mayor. <laughs> okay. So anyways, guys, that's the video for today. We'll keep you updated on some stuff. I uh, haven't done anything with the house. We haven't even been over there in a couple of weeks because we have till December till we can move in. And with everything else that's been going on lately, uh, we're just not I'm trying to keep the stress down. Um... My A1Cs for my diabetes has kind of been out of hand, so I am going to be, hopefully not, but they're talking like he might put me on insulin shots, and I really, really don't want to do that. I try, I, I walk every day, and I exercise a little bit, and I try to watch what I eat, but you know, it took me a long time to get this heavy, so it's going to take me a long time to lose the weight the correct way. So... All right, guys. I feel all that blubber, but <clears throat> oh heck, sick! Well, I got you. Let's uh, see if we can't get a nice exhaust note here. I need to get some kind of a tripod so I can set this thing up so you guys can hear a cold start. But there it is. I love the sound of this car. I don't care if it's a V6. I think it sounds sweet. Yeah, I don't know how well that's getting on camera, but man, it sounds great to my ears. That's the one thing, you know, these V6s, they're raspy anyways, no matter what exhaust you put on them, but at least with the Flowmasters, it seems like they got a, a much deeper tone.
so. And it's like I said before, you know. I know the V8 guys get all up and tight because the V6s. They think the V6 is a waste of money, but these cars aren't slow. They're not slow. They might be slow compared to, okay, the V8 model, but they're not slow. I mean, I've owned vehicles with big block engines that weren't as fast as this. I had a 78 Dodge Charger Daytona about 20 years ago that had a big block 400 in it and it was only pushing out 220 horsepower out of a big block V8 with a four barrel carburetor and dual exhaust. So these cars are not slow and uh, this one gradually going to get faster. I plan on dumping a ton of money into this thing over time. I see a lot of guys there throwing mod after mod after mod on their car and I'm like how do you afford that but anyways guys sorry for the rant I just don't understand it I guess but you know I got three kids and a wife and all my all my goofy pets and things like that I guess I gotta focus on a little more than I can my car but we do, uh, I am a car guy, so eventually, sure enough, we will be dumping the money into this. I think to be all said and done with mods, um, minus the supercharge, I'm looking at about two grand worth of mods. So, with everything that I want to do to this car. Plus, there's some work that needs to be done to it, like transmission needs to get gone through, and, uh, for sure, because it's got 160,000 miles on it. So I want the transmission to get at least gone through, checked, and cleaned. I'm going to take it in for that, because I don't know crap about these Nag1 transmissions. They're a little more electronic for my brain to understand. If it was a turbo hydromatic 350 or something, I'd be elbow deep in it. But these electronic ones are beyond my realm of thinking. Anyways, we will, uh... Where did you go? No! Anyways, guys, we'll uh, talk to y'all later. I just wanted to show you what I've been up to with the Dodge. And, uh, that's been about it right at the moment so all right guys talk to y'all bye